Good morning. Today's lesson is 10.2. Today we're going to explore area of triangles. Our central question, what is the relationship among the areas of triangles, rectangles, and parallelograms? So the materials are a grid paper, tracing paper, ruler, and scissors. You can just use this square if you would like in your book. On the grid, we're going to draw a rectangle with a base of six units and a height of five units. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is my base, and my height is 5 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'm going to connect them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So what is the area of the triangle? Well, I can count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So it's 30 square units. Oops, where'd that go? 30 square units. Instead of counting them, you could have multiplied, remember, base times height. So you could have said 5 times 6 equals my area, base times height, right? And you would have gotten the 30 square units, right? Units squared. Now it B says to trace the rectangle onto tracing paper and draw a diagonal from the top left corner to the lower right corner. So they want you to, and I'm just going to do it on here. So they want you to draw a diagonal line across, okay? And then... So a diagonal line is a segment that connects the two non-adjacent vertical polygons. So right here's my diagonal line that's connecting, right? And then they want you to cut it out and cut these two in half. So now I'm, we're going to pretend that I have two congruent triangles. Congruent means that they are same. So congruent figures are the same shape and size. Are the two right triangles congruent? And you should have found that yes. They are congruent, okay? So how is the area of each right triangle related to the area of the rectangle? Well, the area of each triangle is half the area of the rectangle. So if you look, I have my base times my height, but if I cut it in half, that is the area of my triangle. So the equation is area equals base times height divided by 2. Explain. Oops. Explain how finding the area of a rectangle is like finding the area of a right triangle, and how is it different? Well, in both cases, you're going to find the product of the base and the height, but for the triangle, you're going to find half of the product of the base and the height. Let's analyze. Because a rectangle is a parallelogram, its area can be found using the formula area equals base times height. Use this formula in your results in the investigation to write the formula for an area of a right triangle with a base and the height. And I already kind of did this for you, but so area is going to equal half of the base times the height, right? So you can write it like that, or you can write it like I did. So you can just take your area equals your base times your height, and then when you're done, you're going to divide whatever you get by 2. Let's make a connection. The area of a parallelogram, including a rectangle, can be found using the formula and that should be an A there. Sorry about that, guys. Let me put that there. Kind of got cut off. Area equals base times height. You can use a parallelogram to look at more triangles. Trace and cut out two more copies of an acute triangle. So here's an acute triangle, and there's my obtuse triangle. Remember, acute has a cute little angle, and an obtuse has a very large angle. And then the right one is the one where it's the 90 degrees. And that's what we did before was the right triangle. So are the triangles congruent? And the answer is yes. So anytime I take a square and I cut it out, any time at all that I have, I take a square and I cut it in half, I am going to have two congruent triangles. Okay, so the answer is yes. And if the area of the parallelogram is 10 square centimeters, what is the area of the triangle? Well, if the area is 10 square, then you need five squares because it's going to be half 
because remember that half of 10 is 5, so it's going to be 5 centimeters squared, okay? And the reason is because the triangles, oh, I spelled triangles wrong there, forgot my L. Triangles, <laughs> there we go, I'll fix it, are congruent, and the area of each one is half the area of a parallelogram. All right, generalization. So can you use the formula a area equals half times base times height to find the area of a triangle? Yes, you can, right? We've been talking about that. So for, whoops, I grouped it. Sorry, hold on. So yes, for any, for any triangle, a second congruent triangle can be drawn to form a parallelogram. The area of each triangle will be half of the area of the parallelogram. So when I have a parallelogram, I do my base times height, or my, yeah, my base times height, and then if I cut it in half, my area of my triangle is going to be half of that base times height. All right, so I'm going to do just a couple of these, so let's do number two. So again, remember we're going to do base times height, so base times height, and then we're going to cut that in half, because area equals base times half divided by 2, or area equals 1 half times base times height. Same thing, right? So 8 times 10 is 80, and 80 divided by 2 is 40. So we're going to get 40 inches squared. Okay? You're going to do the same, so base times height, and then you're going to divide that by 2. Base times height and divide it by 2. Base times height and divide it by 2. I'm going to do the rest on your own or with a partner, um, and I'm always there for you on the carpet if you need me. Good luck.